Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you how you can actually blend handwriting in with your iPad or tablet. Um, we're going to use today Metamoji Note, which is the paid version, but you can do the same thing in the free version. And I'm going to show you what I've done with my class in the class. So we just open Note, and here I've got a PDF that I made and I've just imported it into the app and you can distribute this amongst your students. Open up the app. This is a cover that you can design yourself. You put together fairly easily either in the app itself or on your computer. Right, the second page is just basically a simple instruction of how the students can use the PDF within their note app. We've got the instructions here and we've got the writing directions here. We'll just get rid of the left hand side for today. Right now here we've got pages. Just opened up a page. Down there's three and there's four. Two I just added in there by mistake, but here's page four. And what you could do is the students could just size up the squares as um, big or small as they want, and they can choose a pen. I've already chosen a pen color. Move that. Now any note app has similar functions or so features and the, the students could practice their Chinese writing by just repeating the character, making sure the form fits within the square. All right, so they could write a whole line of those and revise their new characters that way or old characters or they could write a composition. They don't have to be perfect by any means, but stylus would be best because that would give the students the feeling of how they would go into an exam or a test and using a pen. Right, so this is doesn't feel exactly the same as a pen, but it's pretty close. Once the student has done that, <coughs> you could actually the student uh, to get their response mark would send it to the teacher. And the great thing about Metamoji Notes is that you could send it in an email or using these other methods. You just send as a PDF and you could just use the current page. So you don't have to send the whole booklet. If it's a 50 page booklet, you don't want to receive 50 pages of a digital book and then search through it to get the response. So you could just send the current page, then send to whichever address, and then that way it would be an easy way for the teacher to mark that to send back to your student. Now, depending on your intranet, if you have a class Dropbox, you could do it that way as well. All right, so that's a good way of using digital technology, and if you're an iPad school or a tablet school, how you can get students to practice and keep up with their handwriting to be writing fit for that examination. I hope this has been useful. Any feedback is welcome. Thank you.